Hey everybody, it's your boy. It's me, it's Gaby. Hey, welcome to... <laughs> that was a weird intro. Uh, hey, welcome to episode 8 of the Light Designs Cult Activity Podcast. Podcast, podcast, podcast. How you doing? Let me know in the comments of wherever you're listening to this. Uh, but before we get started, just a reminder, if you are of legal vaping age in whatever state or country or or province or planet you are uh, existing in, <laughs> click over to Budget Vapors, get yourself some delicious juice. You can get 120 milliliters of premium e-liquid for just $8.49 using my promo code Gabe Sencha. That's capital G A B E S E N T Y A. Gabe Sencha. Share that around with your friends and as always if you're not of legal vaping age there is always a donation link down in the description to help keep the show on the airwaves. Yes. So I got a really really good mix for you. Um at the end of the show, the music this week is is some cool stuff. It's some trancey stuff, a little bit different of a sound. I I think you guys will enjoy it a lot. I had a lot of fun making that mix. Really fun stuff. Uh, I work really hard on the music portion of this show, and shouts out to everybody who uh, who listens to the music portion because I know there's a group of people that prefers. The talking part, you know, uh, just listening to me ramble. And then there's a whole nother group that performs the music part. So uh, I, I appreciate that. I work really hard on the music. On the talking, not not so much. <laughs> Speaking of that, though, um, I think we might have a special guest. Guess, guess, we have a hundred gex as our guest. I wish. I like a hundred gex. I, I like their music. They got, they're doing cool stuff. Um, that wasn't what I was saying, so. We, <laughs> see what I mean? I put a lot more effort into the music portion. Uh, I think we might have a special guest next week. I reached out to uh, one of my favorite reviewers, Steve, the fearless moderator of our chat, to see if he would like to be a guest on the show. Uh, we're gonna have um, my homie Cody on the show pretty soon. And so it, it's pretty, pretty exciting stuff. But on the episodes that we don't uh, have a guest on, on wherever you're watching this, write in the comments some questions or talking points that you would like me to talk about. Um, you know, any, any questions or anything like that that you might have or any advice segments or anything like that. I think that's that would be really fun. And uh, a couple of the podcasts that I enjoy listening to, they do something similar. I'm not trying to rip off other podcasts. It's just, as a listener, I enjoy listening to that kind of stuff. I think it's fun having creators address their their uh, subscribers a little bit more intimately and kind of answering their questions. Um, so I think um, we have a very tight-knit community over here on Light Designs. So I'd like to hear from you uh, on, on some questions or stuff or, or like hypothetical situations or, you know, fun stuff to contribute to the show. This week has been a pretty busy one. This has been a pretty busy week for me. I've been feeling a, a lot of anxiety this week uh, and just running around like a crazy person the past couple days. I did an eight hour long stream the other day. I think the exact time was seven hours and like 48 minutes or something like that. Something stupid long. And uh, and it went great. I, I love long format streams. Um, I definitely could see myself being more of a professional streamer because I, I really enjoy it a lot. Um, I really enjoy interacting with you guys. I just want to say thanks. Because there is a lot of people that stayed for the entire eight hour long stream. I think that's so cool. Especially shout out to all the truckers watching this. If you're a trucker watching or listening, let me know. Um, I think it's so cool that people, you know, prop up their phones while they're traveling. And I, man, I appreciate you guys a lot. I'm currently vaping on some Mystic Milk from Budget Vapors. Uh, Mystic Milk is that juice that made me cry 
You remember like a month ago, I did a, a video on a, a vape juice that made me cry. Uh, that was this juice. I love this juice so much. And it's such an emotional flavor. If you haven't picked up Mystic Milk yet, definitely click over to Budget and pick up Mystic Milk. Um, everything from their Vapory Farms line is a 10 out of 10 for me. Like, absolute 10 out of 10. The best, the best each of those flavor profiles has ever tasted. Um, really, really good. Like, what I mean by that, like, they have a strawberry milk, they have a chocolate milk in there. And it, it's legitimately the best strawberry milk and chocolate milk I've ever had. There's also blueberry milk. Oh, yes. So good. It's 4 a.m. as I film this right now. 4 a.m. I am beat. I am tired. It has been a long, long day today. Um, I was on my bike the majority of the day today. I went, um, I, I probably put like, I don't know, at least 50 miles on the bike today. I got a new front tire a couple days ago, so I've been breaking that in and it's sketchy. It, I got a new front tire and it's sketchy breaking in a new front tire. Um, because I'm really into cornering. I really like to lay down my bike into the corners and it's it's scary with a new front tire. You know, it's not like I put a track tire on there that's designed to be super sticky. I just put a normal street tire, you know, bias ply Michelin, I think. I think it was a Michelin. Yeah, and, and it's, it's a bias ply tire, which is cool. Um, but, you know, I, I didn't put on some super slick, you know, with my little my little sweater for my tires, you know? So like going around the corners, I'm, I'm all sketched out because you can, you can actually feel when you're running one new front tire in the front and an old back tire, you can really feel a difference. You can feel the like vagueness up front. For those first couple miles, things feel very, um, you're very aware. At least I, I can feel it. I ride my bike every single day. It's my primary form of transportation. And so I am very in tune with how my bike feels. And so I could feel the disconnect between the two tires. I could feel that one of them has more vagueness. And I, I could feel like in a corner, my back tire just kind of pushing us through as opposed to one, being like one singular unit. It's sketchy. It's sketchy like that. Um, I don't think I've ever done two new tires at once though. It's expensive for tires, so I normally do one at a time. But the bike is feeling better now that that front tire is broken in. Um, I, got a I, I got some chicken strips on it because I'm, I'm sketched out. The front tire is sketchy, you know? <laughs> Um, so I gotta, I gotta lay it down a little bit more, but the tire's a little bit broken in now. Um, all that shiny stuff is kind of wore off. For the most part, uh, I looked at it, um, well, it was still daytime out today, and, and it was starting to really come off and look like a normal tire. I don't, I don't know what they put on there. Some kind of shiny, sealy stuff to make it look cool but it's really dangerous it's really sketchy i don't like it you should just send your tires out not cool looking so they're already broken broken in um but yeah so the the tire is it feels better now um i was on the highway i got this little series of roads kind of by by where i stay at um that are like on ramps and off ramps and then there's a little bridge and i go out late at night and i practice on those um and I was kind of on my little practice track, and, and it was feeling good. It was feeling good. I took a, a, a corner at a speed, at the speed limit. I took a corner at the speed limit, and uh, it was the first time I could really lay down the bike with this new front tire, and um, it felt good. It felt good. I had a lot of grip, um, and I'm kind of getting over being a little sketched out by that front tire. But if you ride a motorcycle, you know how sketchy it is, especially if there's like painted lines and stuff. Um, and you know, there's there's pretty drastic temperature differences here. You know, during the daytime, it's so 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 hot. And then in the nighttime, some days it gets really cold. Or the desert's right there. 
you know so there are pretty drastic temperature changes and I don't know it's it's crazy the amount of things you have to take into account with a motorcycle over riding uh, driving a car it's a whole different ball game and it's like I, I've been a car enthusiast you know into the tuner scene and the off-road scene and stuff like that my whole life and and since I've become a motorcycle guy for myself you know, motorcycles have always been really deeply rooted in my family. But since I've become a motorcycle guy for myself, it's it's gonna be you know <laughs> it's gonna take a heck of a car to be able to mimic the feeling you can get from a motorcycle. You know, and, and I don't know. I feel um, I don't I don't drive automobiles that often anymore either. Like I think the last time I drove. It was like six months ago. If I remember it, I don't think I've driven anything in like six months. Uh, <laughs> and I remember when I was driving, uh, I was driving way too fast. Because I'm so used to a motorcycle. So I, I'm just like, you know, you're doing 70 on the highway and you feel like you're sitting still. You know, and, and it's funny, it's funny how, like I'm sure this is like a, a very, my example, you know, of what I'm describing is very minuscule in comparison to this but I'd imagine you know like someone who knows how to fly a fighter jet or something like that has to fly like a little doofus plane like one of those ones that land in water or something you know that's what you probably feel like you're sitting still or like you had to drive like a commercial airline or something like that you probably feel like you're sitting still I'm not driving no MV Augusta or doing the Isle of Man or anything like that, but I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying. It's crazy how, Danny, you guys feel like that when you drive your automobiles? Do you feel like, dang, like, I don't know, it, it, it feels weird after driving a motorcycle. It feels like you're sitting still. It's interesting. Let me know. Unless you have a Harley, don't let me know. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I can see I can see Cody on his keyboard typing away already. <laughs> oh man, I've been I've been roasting Cody so much lately about his Harleys. And if you have a Harley out there, just because I don't like Harleys doesn't mean that you can't like Harleys. That's what makes the world a beautiful place. I don't have any problems with Harley motorcycles themselves. I'm not, I'm not gonna open this can of worms. Maybe I will. I'll save it for another episode. But... <laughs> Alright, let's get into the music. This is a really good mix. Super proud of this one. Uh, don't forget to let me know down in the comments uh, just some stuff you want me to talk about. Um, also, be looking out next week. Special guest. Get pumped. Um, and then, yeah, make sure you click over to Budget Vapors. Help support the channel while getting some of the best juice in the whole wide world. So with all that being said, hope you guys are doing good. And I'm excited to hear from you in the comments. Okay, bye everybody.